We are here uh, at the fourth annual Level Ground Film Festival, Film and Arts Festival, and we are here with the lovely Chase Joint and Vivek. I admittedly don't know your last name. Shreya. You know? Shreya. Yeah, like ray of light. Shreya of light. That is amazing. Thank you. you well, you just went from like I went from Chase Joint to Shreya, which is just like Vivek Shreya. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trump cards here. Did you hear what um, did? I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're here with these lovely two humans, and they are performing tonight in a, an event that we are putting on called Ask and Answer. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what it's meant to be on tour, um, and why they're here tonight, and what's important to them. So I was hoping that you both could tell us a little bit about yourselves to start us off. Oh my god. Great. My name is Chase. I'm a filmmaker and a writer, and I am originally from Toronto. And I came to Level Ground through Outfest in LA four-ish years ago, and have been connected to the fest ever since. I came to this fest through Chase, but I have played a show at Outfest, actually, okay. in 2007. Um, and I'm a musician and writer and just multidisciplinary artist. Did we cover everything? I think so. Yeah. Okay, good. They are also being both humble in that they are both Lambda Literary Award nominees. Uh, finalists, actually, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of you. That's amazing. Um, could you tell us a little bit about Ask and Answer and what you're doing tonight? Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been longtime friends and collaborators in Toronto. No, let's take, let's start that whole summary again and not lie. We've been longtime friends in Toronto and... Except we actually say Toronto. No tea. No. Okay. I'm having that, a lot of fun in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Vivek reached out after news had sort of dropped about my book coming out and said, I have a book coming out at the same time. We should talk about potentially touring. And as a longtime fan of Vivek's work, I said, absolutely. And we basically decided to go on tour together Without no. reading each other's books. Prior to reading each other's books. books which is an awesome <laughs> idea. So, uh, you know, then we decided to send each other manuscripts and... And what a relief. Phew. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, the tour name came out of a really organic realization between us that we approach questions and answers, both in public and through our work, really differently. And so what would it look like to stage those kind of fractures and connections together? Yeah, and I think that Chase's book has uh, like a literal dialogue component um, it, because it's co-written. And then my, uh, my work, I really wanted to frame it as a conversation as well. So I think that was another way that the idea of ask and answer emerged. Cool. The, the trick of nonfiction is that in some ways it's always staged for certain kinds of publicness, right? And so for all of the ways in which we disclose, it is a calculated and aesthetic endeavor where we are mobilizing the personal for some kind of political project. Um, and so in the context of You Only Live Twice, the book that I'm touring right now, it's a co-authored project with Mike Holbum, uh, who's an experimental filmmaker in Toronto, and it takes up my transition and Mike's near death from AIDS in the 1990s as starter blocks for Second Lives. And so it's trying to ask these questions of journeys that were at one time separated and thinking about the resonances of like what it means to talk about a personal life or a history um, through new collaborative lenses. Um, but I think in the context of our tour, it's been fascinating because you learn a lot about your work when it's paired against and with and alongside someone else's. And so you learn things that your work is doing that you didn't know. You see insufficiencies and lacks and oversights. And so being on tour has really allowed for this sort of generative ongoing dialogue about the project. I feel really good about that answer. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. This is the uh, last stop on your tour. You've been touring. Uh, what is it like to have been on tour? What was your favorite place? You know, tell us about a little Ooh, bit about the fun. tour. Yeah, that is fun. I mean, for me, what's exciting uh, about touring in general, but certainly with Chase, is that like every venue and audience is a different experience. So even though we are acquainted with the material, obviously the way that the material interacts 
and comes to life or doesn't come to life is always different in different cities. So that to me is always um, really interesting. And then with, with Chase in particular, I just, for me, one of my favorite parts is the debrief because we really, um, you know, we, we love to lesbian process and... <laughs> Identity category number one. I'm a lesbian, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure what that means. No, you, you Can you inform me? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no shaking. What happens when they're born after 1900? <laughs> they stop. They stop. Um, but yeah, I think. But in all seriousness, I think Chase, Chase and I really care about you know what we're sharing and what we're showcasing, and so it's really important for us to like talk about what's working and what's not working. And so for me, that's been um, one of the best parts of the tour, and also just like getting to know each other um, as friends. Cool. And highlight maybe is like um, our our tour diet of um, fries and salad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A little indulgence and a little bit of health. It's, it's, very, right. consist it's like the best very consistent. Every oh. airport can satisfy your needs. Yeah. Exactly. And so now if I ever I return to these cities, I just think of fries and salad with Chase, you know? Okay. I think that, that that's great, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Delicious. Okay. Delicious fries and salad. It's like, fry, it's like a, a new age take on fries and frosties. You yes. Know? Like they took the frosty away, the chocolatey thing, and inserted a healthy thing. That oh, makes nice. sense for the I current just, age. I just feel like appetizers are always better. Like yeah. it's like appetizer and then dessert. Yeah, skip that whole mm -hmm. middle section. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. What was the hard part? You know, the hard part for me was also one of the best parts. When we were on the West Coast, I got really sick. Mm -hmm. And it was this really fascinating lesson in a hustle and in collaboration mm -hmm. and in endurance. and. One of the things that I always hold on to is at some point Vivek just looked at me and said, you can always just walk off the stage. Like, if it goes wrong and it goes down, you just walk off the stage and I will just figure it out. And it's become this incredible sort of through line mantra, I think in some ways in our tour, which is there's this incredible freedom in like walk off the stage, yeah. figure it out. You know, like you take care of yourself, I'll take care of you and we are in this together and so far neither one of us have walked off the stage but tonight, tonight, tonight maybe tonight, tonight and now tonight. we've let it out you'll know <laughs> that something is going terribly wrong but okay. it's kind of an incredible moment to realize you know yeah you're right I guess I could walk off the stage and we would be fine you know and yeah. the show would move in a different way and it wouldn't be less than or more than it would just keep evolving so. yeah well, you know when you write books there's like you, the, once the print edition is out, it's out unless you want to keep writing more editions, which I doubt you want to do. But um, are there things that you would have done differently or said differently or not shared having gone through this process now? With the book itself? With yeah. the books themselves? Mm -hmm. I mean, to go back to your last question, actually, um, and maybe this will lead to your new question, I think for me one of the biggest challenges of this tour is that my book delves into um, racism and white supremacy. And it's, as a brown body, there's always something really hard about doing that work of getting on stage and saying the things, saying the real things and the hard things. So I think for me that's been, I wouldn't call it the worst part of the tour, but just one of the things that I've had to navigate. And I think that's another reason why um, processing is like such a useful thing for me because it's been a way to sort of debrief uh, those particular feelings in terms of my book itself um, I can't think of things that I would change I mean I think like Chase said um, performing our works together um, makes me think of the writing in different ways and makes mm -hmm. me think of things that I hadn't imagined when I wrote it so I think that's one of the things I love about collaboration mm -hmm. um, I haven't made notes of any edits that I would make but yeah I know where the typos are in my book. <laughs> and it, if ever I need a reason for my insomnia to continue, it's just imagining where they are and yeah. who's finding them and when. Uh, but again, it's sort of part of the process. And 100%. There's, there's some of the ways in which the collaboration of this tour has also relieved some of that stress. You know, I remember calling Vivek in a panic when the advanced reading copies of my book went out to early reviewers. And there were many things wrong with the advanced review copy. And Vivek, I think texted me or oh no called me immediately <laughs> and was like one time I had an advanced review copy go out and a page was upside down 
And I was like, and okay. page is missing. I was like, well, we're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's like known in publishing that arcs are full of, yeah. you know, mistakes. And that's part of the process. But, you know, um, publishing in this way, you feel really precious about some of the things. And it's really an exercise in trust and letting go and realizing that nothing is perfect. For sure. Um, obviously, the, the festival's theme this year is all over everything. And it's Resist Easy Answers. And I'm just curious from a level ground perspective, Chase, you've come back to us. What about, you know, level ground resonates with you? And, and Vivek, is there anything about the, the theme of re resisting easy answers that, that resonates with you as well? I mean, what I love about coming back to level ground is coming back in collaboration. The first time I was here, I was so low with my work. And I think that there's really something that inherently invites a resistance to concretization, right? Like a resistance to easy answers, a resistance to a singular answer to a question when you put us both up on stage and we really quite genuinely and not performatively approach the answer from a very different perspective. Yeah. You think about the racialized and classed contexts of our work and the ways in which that is made visible and evident through our um, collaboration on stage. And so it's exciting for me to come back and actually be literalizing the dialogue uh, in public. It's very cool. I mean, I don't want to repeat too much of what Shay said, but I echo a lot of what he said. I think um, both of our works are really invested in resisting easy answers. I think that we are always looking at ways to to challenge and be challenged. And I think, like Chase was saying, I think the fact that you know we, one of the first things we we realized when we started doing this show is that we have very different answers and that that was a good thing, you know, to the same question and that um, as opposed to, I think sometimes there's an impetus to try and like um, showcase like a united front, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I think what's great about our collaboration is that, yeah, we we're constantly challenging that. Which is why we process so much. That's great. All right. Well, thank you both for being willing to joke about the 90s and my babiness and Canadians, um, and also to be honest uh, with us today and share a little bit about your work, and we're looking forward to tonight, so. Thank you so much, yeah. thanks for, thanks having, for us. having us. For sure. Nice toque. Oh, thanks. Nice toboggan. <laughs>